Um, so I started doing athletics when I was age seven. Um, I just went down to my local club and um, was pretty good at running. Um, apparently on the first night, the coach actually asked me, what do you want to do? And um, I had a big ambition. I said I wanted to go to the Olympics. Um, I always laugh because he meant you just want to do running, jumping or throwing. But there I was with a big ambition and uh, yeah, I loved it. I was hooked and um, 28 years later I was still going. Um, I guess I just took it in my stride really. Um, I'd been to uni, got a part-time job, etc. And um, yeah, just really loved the opportunity to travel and um, you know, see new places and um, just really improve my performances along the way. Um, the best moment for me was probably the World Champs in Berlin. Um, that was my first major medal, also my personal best, 1 minute 57.93, really unexpected. Um, the second would be World Indoor Champs in Doha 2010, uh, broke my own British record, um, which was pretty amazing at the time. Um, third one um, was probably the first British record I ran indoors, so that was 2010 as well. It was at the NIA in Birmingham, real special moment for me, at the British Indoor Grand Prix, and that was breaking David Kelly Holmes' record. The decision to retire was actually really, really easy for me. Um, I knew at age 35, um, you know, that was the time for me to hang up my running spikes. Um, it's been a long career. Um, someone would have said to me at the beginning of my career, I'd run a personal best of 1 minute 57 for the 800 metres and win international medals, I'd you know, be really, really pleased with that. So yeah, I, I knew the time was right after Rio. I think most people remember me for um, you know, just being really gutsy and um, you know, a lot of people always say I wear my heart on my sleeve. Um, I always gave my best. If the race was a slow race, I'd just go to the front and make it a true run race. If it was a fast race, you know, I just strategically placed myself well. So, yeah, I just want people to know that, you know, I was always a fierce competitor and um, I always gave the best I had on the day. I'm actually involved in loads of exciting initiatives, um, opportunities to actually go into schools, do mentoring programmes, work with other NGBs, um, work with, I'm working with the Wigan Youth Zone, lots of young people's projects. Um, helping European athletics out with an anti-doping education and outreach programme. So lots of things. I'm still definitely going to stay really involved in the sports.